Ethical labeling is fast becoming an essential. Claims like no added sugar and no artificial are commonly seen on packaged food and drinks, along with uh, other commitments such as charity and even recycling. Halal labeling is set to experience the highest growth for food and drinks over the next five years at 6% growth, and Asia Pacific is the largest contributor with 90% of sales. This is mainly due, due to two reasons. Uh, the first being the cultural and religious demographic mix in the region, and the second being the presence of strong accreditation bodies within fast-growing markets. Most regulators in Asia Pacific are in partnership with governments and religious bodies to set their own local guidelines and logos. Visible efforts are seen in countries like Philippines and Thailand, whereas Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia are more stable in comparison and setting a high standard globally. Despite these positive developments, the development of regulation is struggling to catch up with strong demand for halal certified packaged food and drinks. This has caused alternative halal compliance strategies to crop up. There are mainly three types that businesses adopt to cut costs or time in pursuing an official accreditation. So the first being Muslim-owned businesses, the second being claims of ingredients in ex uh, exclusion, and the third, unaccredited halal logos. Businesses may want to show consumers that they do comply with halal laws and therefore rely on consumer trust in the absence of an official certification. This market has contributed to the confusion over the authenticity of halal claims for both manufacturers and consumers. A stronger focus on overall ethical labeling helps businesses to show that they have shared values with their consumers. This doesn't only cover halal certification, but also other values such as animal welfare and even uh, environmental sustainability. An overall clean and positive company image uh, will help to achieve a holistic ethical positioning that also appeals to non-Muslims and represents a more effective strategy for the longer term.